why character matters so much in business partnerships. And, and this is a issue that's near and dear to my heart. Um, you know, being a business lawyer, I get to encounter a lot of people, uh, both directly in my practice, people that come to me that are clients or potential clients or businesses in the community. But then also I get to interact with other businesses on behalf of my clients um, and, you know, and so on and so forth. I, I encounter a lot of business people in my life and my career, and it's something I enjoy. But one of the things that circles around a lot of this, and one thing that constantly comes up in my thinking is character and business relationships. And there are some people struggling with character these days. And I think perhaps the changing environment we've been in has been an issue. Um, the difficult economic times we're in. Some people really are you know, going to come to you straight and, and bring you the truth. And some people are going to be difficult. And a lot of my business practice is around building LLCs and business partnership agreements and agreements with multiple owners. And I want to address character and people that do the right thing because it's such a fundamental piece of a good business partnership. A uh, good business partnership really lays a foundation for a relationship. And you're not going to, in most cases, be able to contract around character. There are certainly things you can put into partnership agreements, LLC agreements, et cetera, et cetera, that will be helpful if somebody is a problem person or if they have character issues. But the amount of paper and work and cover-up and, and covering your back and positioning and posturing and all of that stuff that has to happen to deal with bad character would be burdensome and overly cumbersome. It would be too difficult. And so that's why character matters so much. You want to go in business with good people. You want to protect your uh, reputation and your relationships. You don't want somebody destroying them. But it's also very difficult to work around bad character. I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm not saying there's not some things that can be done if you know you're doing business with a bad person, but you certainly don't want to just be in a position where you constantly have to document and back everything up. At some point, you need to trust. Uh, business documents will only get you so far. At some point, you need a partner or partners in your business that are doing the right thing. You want the right people. that are going to build the right relationships and, and protect your company and your brand. Um, so character is something to really think about. It's something that's not talked about enough, and that's something that should be part of those initial partnership discussions. We talk a lot about building partnership agreements here on the channel. If you go check out our library of past videos, but one thing you should be assessing early on is, does this person have the character? Are they the type of person I want to be in business with? It is critical in business partnerships. Folks, I really appreciate you tuning in. I hope you drop your questions below. Remember, social media comments are not confidential. Don't put anything in there. You don't want other people seeing, but we certainly have been prompted for other videos from the comments, so they are very helpful to us. So feel free to drop the comments, ask your questions, uh, join the conversation with us. I look forward to hearing from you. Also, please subscribe to the channel if business and business law is something of interest to you so we can bring you more great content in the future. Thanks for tuning in today. Thanks for tuning in today, folks. I look forward to seeing you again soon.